Hello everyone, and welcome to this After Effects tutorial where today we're going to cover how to add an image of a scar to footage through camera tracking, as well as utilizing a normal map to give the element a sense of depth and specular quality. Okay, so you guys might be wondering why a Batman related tutorial. Well, for starters, I'm a huge Bat Geek, and secondly, after playing through Rocksteady's Arkham Knight, while I was disappointed at their mystery character reveal, I did in fact like the little J carved into Jason Todd's face at the end, and so I thought let's make a live action version of this. Mind you, this tutorial works over footage that I'd already shot a few years ago, but I like the central focus on the face, so we're working with that. This tutorial covers basic 3D camera tracking built within After Effects, as we'll be tracking the face to eventually get a reference point from which to project the image of the scar. We'll also be jumping into Photoshop, but seeing as I wanted to keep this tutorial primarily focused on After Effects, I'm just going to show you the image I'm using. However, that being said, I will include both the scar image and the normal map for download in the description. Moving right along, we'll be parenting the scar to our initial camera track, and finally we'll be using our normal map to affect the scar with the displacement map effect. Alright, let's jump in. So right here I just wanted to show you guys the before and after effect of the scar image, no pun intended. The point is that it's subtle, and I achieved that with blending modes and opacities, which we'll cover later. However, I also have an irritated skin texture, which will also be in the description for download. Okay, let's make a new composition with the same aspects of your footage, and let's drag the footage in. Here I'm just trimming the composition to fit where the face is in full frame. Now, we're going to add a curved effect onto the footage, and mess around with the RGB channels until we get a deep bluish green color. Next, we'll add a sharpen effect to give the footage a crisper quality. I'm setting the sharpen amount to 25. Now we'll begin with our 3D camera tracker. Go to the track panel at the bottom right of the interface and hit track camera. This should take some time depending on how long your footage is, seeing as it's analyzing the frames for individual track points. Now as you can see, we have an incredible amount of tracking data from which to choose a plane. We could literally pick any place on the skin and After Effects could track it based upon my head tilt and the camera's perspective. I'm going to pick these four right here. Alright, once you have a few points selected in the form of a polygonal shape, you can now right or option click and select create solid in camera. This will create a new track solid as well as keyed tracking data that is visible and editable in your layers panel. Now just scale up the plane and move the 3D cursor to where you think the plane would best rest on the face, also utilizing the orientation settings which you can press R on the keyboard. This will allow you to rotate the plane in X, Y, and Z space. Okay, as I said earlier, we're going to jump into Photoshop so I can just show you the image textures. Here's the image of the scar. To create this, I just altered several layers of scar textures and used a warp lattice under the transform settings, as well as playing around with the liquify tool to get the desired result. Thank you. 
Also, here's what the normal map looks like. In Photoshop CC 2015, you can create a normal map from any image with a built-in filter effect. Okay, jumping back into After Effects, we're going to add the image of the scar into the face through parenting. Let's first pick whip it to the track solid layer and then turn on its 3D settings. Next we'll need to scale up the image until it fits the face again. You'll notice how it moves subtly with the face, which is a good sign that we're doing alright. Next, we'll add the skin irritation texture, repeat the 3D parenting process, and this time change its blending mode to soft light, as we turn down the opacity to something a little less dry. Moving along, we'll add the normal map to the bottom layer, seeing as we don't need to see it, and we'll repeat the parenting process again, seeing as it needs to be in the same orientation as the scar file. Next. We'll add a displacement map to the SCAR file under the drop down selection for the displacement map layer. Choose the normal map and set the red and green parameters to 7 equally. You'll see that the SCAR tapers in like it's attached to the skin. This is the effect we want. Okay, this is our finished effect. Now let me create an adjustment layer with a color balance effect to create a more intense mood to the footage. Tweaking down the opacity, we have our final result. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial.